Well, it's my favorite time in the morning, and we're getting ready to saw here, so I come up before all the boys get here, and we're gonna look at the oil level in the bus motor. It needs a, no, oh, we could probably use a quart or so. Um, someone was asking about how do we, if we have any AC power up there, and there's the answer right there. We have a little Predator 2000 watt generator, one of them quiet generators. So I get the fire going. It's a necessity. It's about 50 degrees this morning. It is, uh, what are we, the 9th? Yeah, we're the 9th of March, and spring is it's on the doorstep. We're going to get some snow tomorrow. So I'm going to get some cab windows cleaned here. Uh, we're going to put a little bit of oil in the bus motor, so I'm going to get a couple things done. And I always like to just check things up in front of the saw. This needs a little bit of cleanup. We did... Eddie did a good job. He used that blower and got everything nice and clean around the other side of the mill. We got a concern on this one day. And when you're setting your saw guides, they have to be running at full speed. So, but you don't want, that's almost too much gap there. You want to split the difference. So when you bring that saw up to full speed, you run your guides in and out. And uh, I've had this for 20 some years. I used to run this on the, on the Meadows Mill, made by McCormick's uh, saw shop. And they still make them today. So if you have an older mill and you don't like your guides, that is the ticket there. But yeah, I'm going to give this, you can see how this window gets uh, really, really just everything hits its sap. And it's plexiglass, so you got to watch what you do with it or else you start scratching it up. Here's our victim for today's video right here. This is uh, actually, it is silver maple. It's, I thought it was. So that's going to be some... Uh, that's gonna be some fun saw in there. So, uh, all right, let's get some oil. Let's get some oil in the bus motor and uh, let's get her topped off. Okay, let's give the bus motor a little drink of oil here. It don't, it don't go through much oil, but it is a Detroit, so i give her a couple quarts here. Just sort of guess. Worse to overfill them than to have them run just slightly low. I think we're going to call that good. We'll check it on a dipstick. But if you're going to run a Detroit Pyre unit, better have oil. Better have oil on hand. But this has been a good motor for us. Uh, little 671. 238 horsepower from the factory. So I don't know what she's putting out now, but it, it does the job. So let's get uh, let's get a look at the stick here. Just trying to bring you along for some of the stuff that I do before the camera turns on. Got to give it a minute to get down in the oil pan. But yeah, I try to run it right in between. And we put um, a five gallon bucket and one gallon of um, Lucas. And that Lucas really, yeah, she's coming up. So, yeah, it's going to be fine. Give that a few minutes to settle down into the oil pan, and uh, I think we're going to clean the windows now. All right, and I'm just going to use just some spray cleaner. And I just let it, I put it on heavy. Let it run down. You don't want to, plexiglass is just a, it's a bad choice for a window in a, in a sawmill, but when we started this mill up, we were two poor men that had been sawing together for, oh, almost 28 years at that point. And uh, it's all we could afford to get this mill up and running. And the windows that were in it, they were, they were bad. So all I do is I just use a rubber squeegee and just 
all you want to do is get the bulk of it off we're not doing a vehicle where you or worry about a bunch of streaking but this would be much better for me and these uh, little chunks on the glass here that's from cutting that sticky wood as John Clark would call it pine really makes things bad but yeah once you start rubbing on it with a rag you might as well left the dirt on it because you're going to scratch it up really bad so oh good for another hundred thousand miles And while I'm at it, I think I'm going to go wipe down that clock face dial a little bit, so. But that's pretty much what I do. I just walk through everything in the morning here, make sure there's nothing obviously wrong. Um, Want to sort of check things. Uh, take a look at Chewy. Make sure that it's getting due for a little bit of a chain tightening. It's nice and sharp yet. Uh, did all right since the rebuild go back on some of my older videos so uh, there's a two-part video I think of restoring the old Chewy because it was wore out to the point where it was it was cutting this bar in half from so many times around there and I just look at things on the log deck look for loose pins look for anything that could be a hazard and it's just sort of like a pilot walking around the plane before you take off once you take off it's too late so all right Good morning, YouTube. I'm here with the Eddie Horvath. Good Horvac morning, good morning, Mark. And ZZ Mark. ZZ. How you doing, brother? Hey, and it is the, what are we, the 9th, 9th. of March. Mm -hmm. And it is raining, but it's 50 degrees out. There'll be snow here tomorrow. We're yeah. in western Pennsylvania, so, and then we're going to be 70 by Friday Eve. Mm -hmm. So it's up and down. and be good. It's, just, it's a beautiful day. The birds are chirping, and it's just a, <laughs> just a great day. All right, super thanks is... McKinley Getz, thank you again. Thanks, McKinley. Yeah, McKinley's been a, a regular here. And we got a 80th birthday to Judith Clever. And that was on the first. Happy birthday. So happy birthday, happy Judith. birthday Judith. And also, we are so close to 80,000 subs. Oh, this is my we, Yeah, we are almost Today there. Today we'll make it. Yeah, we, we might yeah. make it. Well, probably before this video airs, we'll probably be at 80,000. So we'll have to get some Shag Pagany. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> we'll have to we'll have to do a little toast here and but thank you yeah thank everybody Everyone. out there everybody out there you, you've supported us i appreciate it um you know this has been a been a fun ride to, to get where we're at today and um well what do we got going for today we've got a piece of maple on there it's worthy for this meal it's a it's going to run about 34, 36 inches. We're going to have to... Yeah, make stop sign. Stop and, sign. Uh, it, it, it's silver maple. Yeah, uh, and uh, that's the one you seen on the last video when I did the little walk around. Stall boards. And, uh, yeah, we'll make it into stall boards. So or, it's a little short. Or anybody wants some silver maple, there's yeah. going to be some nice wood coming out of this log. Wood. Get a hold of us, Eddie. Go over and check out Eddie's channel. Yeah. Time with the Eddie. And he has links in there for your email. Yeah. Get in touch with Eddie. Every bit of lumber we saw is for sale. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, we we gotta we gotta. And start. you get a close up view of the lower end of the mill. Yeah. Meal. And you get to meet the Eddie Horvath. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we'll, so that's we'll, even better than that. We'll chat with the word of the day. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. All right. Well, Let this let's just get going. Done. All right. You'll be stuck. All righty. Let's get this party started. And I got the Eddie Horvath on the other side there, getting the blade going here. Now we're going to saw you a big, big piece of maple. It's only seven foot long. So, I could have sawed on two head blocks. I'm leaving the door open in my cab right now. I got a couple of people that showed up. Oh, there's Sammy's going to watch us here. Um, a guy I worked with back when I was in my 20s looked me up. And uh, he's out just to check out the mill. So. We're going to have to open the knees way up on this one, so I'm going to open up to about, we'll start there and see where we end up at. Well, let's bring the big old, big old log up here, and he's a big one. It's got to be 
careful here, everybody. Chewy will help out here. Need some more. Could need some assistance here, everybody. It's going to take a minute. All right, I'm going to pull this door shut a little bit here so maybe you can hear me better. I don't know how. Get over here. Think you're get on over here Eddie and we're filming everything in real time so that's just the way it is I knew we we're gonna have problems loading this log I'm gonna back up a little bit on them knees. Tell you what, let's start there. So we want the dogs up, dogs out, dogs down, and we're gonna hit the master dog down. I'm gonna bump it forward just a hair. We got a good hold of it, so let's uh, let's start right here. And it's just silver maple; it's not a valuable log by any means. And we're gonna make a stop sign, of course. Just get a little Donnie. trim that off yeah let's get it trimmed off and then I think this log will slowly cooperate with us should have brought the big chainsaw out but we'll be all right everybody trim that off now at the very end it's going to haunt me but boy these windows are nice and clean I'll tell you that that'll work Eddie all right good enough that will work Let's start our stop sign. edge of board out of this next one it's not as wasteful as you think this is there we go there's a piece of usable lumber so let's roll it a little bit more. Back the knees 
up a little bit more. Dogs up, dogs out, and dogs down. You want to get a good hold of this every time. And we'll bring it up to Mr. Laser. He shows up nice on this maple though. All right, let's, uh, let's keep working our way around. something out of there and we got to get down to 22 stop sign video uh, go over to that uh, Nichols sawmill and more I think it's pronounced Nichols he's got some big poplar man he he has a little bit bigger Edmonds than we have but he knows how to make them stop signs in a hurry you're not stop signing this are you oh yeah we're making a stop <laughs> sign for sure I got a guest here with me, Mark Fowler. Worked with him back, what year was that, Mark? 80 what? 3, 84. Wow. I was just a kid working in a cabinet shop. So what we want to do here is we want to just get enough. So we want to make sure the dogs are all the way out. We want to grab the back of it, and then we're going to hit that master dog down. And then you always want to do is nudge it forward just to make sure that log didn't roll down. And you know you got a good hold of it. So we're pretty good here. So this is how I turn my camera, you get to see that too. And the stop sign really works out well. You'll get to see the scraps at the end. That is some pretty maple though. Yeah. It was worth putting on the mill. And it's come local? Uh, yeah, it's all, everything comes out of here is pretty much local trees. Yeah. Now once we get to a certain point, we'll, we'll roll it completely down on the blocks and we're going to take a chance at a certain point. We're not quite there yet. 22 is that big number on the back wall. I try to get in the center. I'm going to just do a little bit more roll up here. Open the knees back up again. Make sure they're completely out. If some people don't have a master dog. I wouldn't sure trust this. Now we're going to come up till we see the green light again. There it is. Now, Mark, you got to tell everybody Mr. Laser does exist. Hey, hey, Mr. Laser's here. <laughs> a lot of people can't see it. I don't know why. You don't, you don't really see a lot of them. And you can see the next board off will edge, so we're getting useful lumber out of it. And these buttons right here are all board thicknesses. A little bit quieter in here. Now when you do a, you talk about a set, is that something that's already preset? Yeah, this is uh, the first one's inch and an eighth, which is four quarter inch and a half two inch this is just a heavy set okay, okay this uh we're gonna turn it a little bit more everybody sorry about the camera i get hollered out yeah, don't just, I'm yeah. Out 
All right, we're gonna. That's a little aggressive there. Let me get these arms up. Let's start there. Yeah, we're just gonna get four quarter. If this was hard maple, we'd be cutting some heavier, uh, heavier stuff to make, maybe make a tabletop out of. I think we're good there. We're getting close to striking distance now, so. Beautiful. Nice stuff. That's as clear as you're gonna get. too greedy but I'm gonna to try to get one more board off I don't know if that's a mistake or not oh we just get a milker out of there all right now I think if I lay that down on the blocks I think I can make some quick work out of this we're gonna try something everybody it's all we can do it's like a Bob Ross painting, it's your world. <laughs> do what you want to do with it. And Chewy's just loving this. I think we're gonna get a little boom here. Oh, we got a boom, yeah. All right, that's what we want. We're gonna bring it forward to see Mr. Laser. And I'm not gonna worry about tapers at this point. Just trying to get a um, trying to get a flat spot established. There we go. Wedge something out of that. And we slowly get closer to our 22. The magical number. That's inch and eight, which is standard, what they call four quarter in the industry. Oh, where are we at here with the pith? I put a blue dot on that just to see where the yeah. pith's at. Um, Why do you stay away from the pith? Well, the pith is very unstable. Softwoods, not so much, but hardwoods, uh, it's really not valuable. Yeah. Uh, see, I try to get my chain position there too. You see what I just bump that chain around? Cause it, it likes to grab and tear, but... Come on, get it. There we go, we got the boom. And I always try to work forward, so I always back up further than you have yeah. to. That way you're taking out all the play yeah. and them rack and pinions. Is there any, is there any calibration you can do on this? Or? Yeah, every, every so often, uh, I'll check each individual knee. There's been very little waste on this log, really. I think this run's going to take me down below my 22. That's a lot of log. I think we calculated over 300 feet. Okay. We're gonna get in some rot right now. Well, let's run that front out again. All right, we're gonna go around one more time. We're getting a nice square can't form at the same time here. Oh, we'll 
take a shimmy off. How fast? You get something stuck between that and that blade, how fast would it take to heat that up? Not very long. Really? Yeah, it's um I'm always keeping an eye on that. Yeah. There's so many things I gotta watch. I gotta oh, watch yeah. I gotta watch Eddie's fingers for one yeah. thing. I think that'd be the most important thing. But then you know you gotta glance down at that saw yeah. and you got um, then you got a camera. Yeah. need him to trim right in front of that headlock base. Just to, yeah. You know one of your videos you talked about the side the diameter of the blade. Did you go bigger on this? Or yeah the, and we we just yeah we there's the, the advantage is is more bad than good. Really? Yeah. Uh, the bigger the saw, we don't got a big enough opening to even okay. pass the boards out. Okay. So, just too much involved. Is that a 54? That's a 56. A 56. That's good, Eddie. Little Donnie's working good, though. I think that bevel's going to come to our advantage now. On the other side there, that'll that'll allow that saw to clear. So we're going to put the northern face, or yeah, the northern face we're going to put out. So we're going to go around one time on the turner. what the weight would be but it's a lot I know that it's all right we're gonna look for the little flicker of the laser you can see it flickering there there it is I'm gonna get true back up again that's about perfect and we're gonna start whittling her down now we're sorry, we're below 22 Didn't take too long. Is uh, Mr. Laser something you've always had? We got that this? quite a few years ago. There's actually a video of that board don't want to cooperate. Pretty stringy wood. Yeah, trim her off, Eddie, and that's going to be it. And the top saw is another option. We really yeah. don't. We really don't. That's, that's something else to maintain. Yeah. We don't saw that much big stuff. What? And what's the largest you can put on her? I do it. Yeah. Yeah. All these are just simple logs yeah. that are sitting on the deck over here. Damn, we're gonna roll her down. We're gonna we're gonna have her way with this log right now. All over. Let's get her done now. I'm just going to start on that face. It really don't make no difference. I'm going to back up just a little bit more. There we go. In fact, I want to true that up just a little bit. We're going to take a little shim off. And 
and that won't go to waste because we use it on top of our wood boxes yeah. as cover so there's really nothing here that gets wasted and now we'll just keep peeling left and right keep centering that pith I'll try to get this down to a 12 inch can to let him flip that before I get out of the saw so we don't have no chance of uh, something grabbing the back of that saw. Have you ever uh, had an accident? Oh, we've launched a few things. Really? Never put a hole in the roof yet. <laughs> I say yet. All right, we're, we're almost. That. Oh no, it, it can happen. Oh, no. I think that last video, I a little chunk of something flew out. Yeah. Boom. That's what them foot pedals are for. Okay, we're gonna just see how bad this is. We need to clean this up at all. That's looking nice. All right. We'll take this down to 12 inches and then we'll work north and south. And, and old Louie McNeely, you like the bus motor singing today, Louie? She's a singer. behind that saw. I don't know what, you see saw that's flying back there? Unless that pipe plugged up on the back side of it. take a look at some here Mark yep. I gotta I'm gonna pause it for a station identification I want to see some here we're clogged up is that blower running Give me a stick. We got a little cloggage going on here. Five. All right, we're back. And let's see if Mark wants to come back. <laughs> All righty. Eddie's going to get the saw blade going again. And uh, that's what happens when sawdust uh, gets clogged up. Get clogged up. Yeah, I start noticing a, a rooster tail coming yeah. off of there. And I says, well, I better do something about it now. Like, I better bump that taper back. See how that taper likes to drift out on me? Don't understand why. All right. We should be into a full set. We should be right back where we started. Where are you getting? You're getting all your electric from that generator. All the controls that you're run off of that? This is an inverter. Okay. That's coming off of the... Yeah, we're running it off the battery, but what I've been using lately is this company, McPow, has sent us this little power pack. Nice. And it's working beautiful. 
Okay, let's look at the pith. And I'm gonna try to get on to, we'll take two more boards off and we're gonna flip it down. So, all right, let's get back to the rhythm of things here. Sometimes when you stop, you, you sort of forget where you were at. Yeah. But that was uh, two pieces of bark crisscrossed over that. And uh, I will take one more. 11 and a quarter would be a nice board. And you sort of want to feed these wide cans slower. You don't want to... I watched some of these mills, man, they hammer through. Yeah. No sense of beating up your saw. All right, let's lay this down and start working. Now I'm gonna try to back the knees up here slightly. Then you just let the knees run back and then boom. Nice. Then at this point, you always want to put your dogs in. And there was a guy argued about this a couple of videos ago. He don't understand why. Why would you put them dogs back? Yeah. Well, if you dug that saw blade will. Okay, we're looking for a little glimmer here. And there it is. See the little flicker on yeah. the face there? Yeah. That's about what you need. Old man glitter. Her down. So I'm going to saw until we get close to the pith. We're going to run that other face back out. And then we'll bring it up until we get to about a six inch. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to work north and south one more time until we end up with like a two by six out of this. This is still almost absolutely clear. A couple little pin knots now. But we try to show everything in real time. Uh, we're not fast forward as far as our sawing. Edging we do. That could get boring. All right, let's roll this back. There's still a big chunk of wood sitting there. butter though. Almost it's, the uh, same same consistency as poplar. Is oak, I mean, oak hard and soft? Oak's a lot harder than this, yeah. yes. But it we got enough horsepower. Yeah. The key is until you sit in this cab and actually fill the controls, the saw kind of tells you what to do. I mean 34 years of sawing don't hurt. It's a little bit of rot there, but that's still not bad. Yeah, they're using soft maple for a lot of filler woods, drawer boxes and such. Yeah. Alright, we're going to work the top and bottom one more time. And I'll have to saw into some of that rot, but... And I always bump them in every time I do that, because if that hydraulic would happen, it would sneak out a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna back this up and go forward. See, I was somewhere around should be right around there. The width of that blade is a quarter inch? It's 9.30 seconds. Okay. So it's a 30 second over a quarter. Yeah. 
but you can you can sharpen it until you get down to a quarter inch before you have to change the bits. It's a dovetail shaped tooth, so as you uh, sharpen it back, it, the curve goes narrower. Yeah. But far as my when I'm doing uh, calculations on stacking, I uh, I pretty much calculated as a quarter. I have cut sheets all over this cab, little cheat sheets. All right, let's turn this back. We'll leave that in the dog board. That piece of ugliness there. So that can is seven inches wide on the blade? Right now it is, yes. Okay. And you know what, that's a good question, Mark, because there's a lot of people that, they always ask me, what's that yellow dial for? Right. I've told them I pick my lottery numbers on it. I'm gonna see if uh, I'm gonna see if that's anything can move. Yeah, you can pick lottery numbers on it, but yeah, that's what that's for. Yeah, we're almost done. one more off of there and that's it we're gonna call this happy little painting done okay everybody we'll catch you here at the end There it is. Hey, yeah, it's almost running a pressure washer, Ed. Oh, God, and how, how can they do that? Yeah. They well, there it is. There, there's our, there, there's, there's the uh, silver maple, and uh, I, I, unbelievable. Yes. And I had a special guest here today, Mr. Mark Fowler. And Mark, can you tell everybody how we ended up meeting? <laughs> Uh, about 38 years ago, the yeah. cabinet shop. Yeah, 38 years ago. 38 years I, ago. I worked with Mark back so in this uh, both old. <laughs> local cabinet shop in the town of Imperial. And that's his buddy Skip. And they come out to visit us today. And uh, what's the chances of meeting somebody over a YouTube channel? And yeah. I guess you said it was over Mike Morgan, yeah. Outdoors with the Morgans. Yeah. That's yeah. how he found out about our sawmill yeah. channel. And there it is, 38 years later, a guy I worked with when I was a kid <laughs> is standing there. He got to see, he was up in the cab. If you're wondering I, whose, I, whose voice it was in the cab that we were talking, it was Mark. So, I taught uh, you everything you know. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and then some. So we did all right today. We did good. Yeah. We did good. Yeah, that was good. And uh, yeah. Enjoyed it. And hey, we're almost at 80,000 subscribers as of today. And uh, do us a favor if you could help us out. Share it with somebody. Yeah. And uh, if you do, if you like it, please hit the like button. That helps us out. And uh, that's all we got for today. So it was a good day. It was. All right. Catch you on the next one. All right. Bye -bye.